Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here back again with another match preview. We haven't actually done these in a while. I've just been very, very, very busy. Um, and it's uh, it's now or never, as it says. It's now or never. Manchester United versus Liverpool at Old Trafford. Um, I'd actually have loved to have actually gone down there. I would have gone down there this, this, this Sunday with my season ticket, but uh, unfortunately I'm working. Um, but yeah, it's now or never. It is literally now or never for Manchester United right now. And basically, um, as I've said uh, in the Red Devil Studio Live, as we did a segment on Solskjaer and also after Newcastle, um, this is essentially doomsday, really. Um, this is doomsday for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Um, people do not expect Ole to win this game. Um, I don't think people expect United to win this game. Um, and frankly, um, if United are beaten in excess of three goals and play diabolically, um, this could potentially be the final straw for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I don't want it to be. Um, and even if we were to lose, I felt if we lose well, then and I see we see improvement, I don't think that's a problem. But I think that given it's Liverpool, given it's Old Trafford, and given the way we're playing, if we put in a performance that shows disinterest and we lose by quite a hefty margin, and I'm talking Manchester City, Watford margin, um, then I think we're going to be in real real problems and social and be in real problems. And I think you'll know that. I, I, th I generally think that he knows that. Um, so without further ado, um, let's go on to what I think the lineup will be. Now, obviously, um, the big news coming into this game is that um, De Gea and Pogba are out. They're both injured, not going to play. Um, so obviously, that means that Romero will start. Um, I think... Actually, looking at this, uh, Romero is actually a solid keeper for us. When he's been in, he's not made that too many mistakes, to be honest. Um, and I think with De Gea being injured, this will be a good opportunity to see what Romero can do, to be honest. Um, because I love De Gea, and I think he has been solid. Definitely was solid. But there have been one or two instances where he's made a few mistakes that I think, you know. But we'll see. We'll see with Romero. We'll, we'll see. Because he because De Gea is, has set the standard. Um, so Romero in goal. Um the positive news on the front is that our back four is pretty much what our back four should be. It's like Luke Shaw and Wambasaka should be back um, from injury. Um, so we have basically, so Ash Young goes out, Dallow goes out. So basically, and Matt McGuire and Lindelof there. So our, our, our four, um, our old traveller, this is the same four, I think, that lost to Crystal Palace. Um, but, you know, Liverpool are not going to play like Crystal Palace. Um, and... The thing about this game, I feel that is different maybe from the others, is that well, the way United only sets up, we set up to counter attack. So we're going to set up to counter attack against Liverpool. We're going to give them the ball and we're going to counter and break, and that's where we can cause Liverpool problems. So I think we should bear that in mind. Liverpool are not going to be like Crystal Palace, other low league teams that will just sit back and wait to catch on the break, long ball up, etc. That's not what Liverpool are going to do. Liverpool are going to have the ball and they want to run at us or try and win the ball further up. And so it's up to us to really catch one and break. Now, the only problem with this tactic is what we have in front of the back four, i.e. no Pogba to carry the ball out. So I think that Matic and Tommy are going to come in. I could be wrong. Maybe it could be Tommy or Fred. Um, but I suspect that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will play two holding midfielders at Old Trafford in a 4-2-3-1. Uh, and I suspect Matic will come into this. Um, maybe McTominay, maybe Fred. But McTominay will definitely play but I just think that Matic will come in because I think Fred, <coughs> the last few games, has not been great. Um, and I don't think McTominay will, is really, looks like he's really playing the holding midfielder role, really. He plays more advanced. And Fred, there doesn't seem to be anyone who really wants to play this a proper holding midfielder role. Um, so Matic is going to be that guy, I would suspect. Um, in front of the front three, so in front of the McTominay and Matic, and here's where it gets interesting. So... Um, Pogba obviously is out. Um, Martial is back. And so Martial being back, I assume that Martial will be the go-to for number nine as he was. He'll, he'll be up top. Um, and then on the left, I think that like at the start of the season, Daniel James will drop to the bench and, and come on as an impact sub, which I think would be useful um, for United. Um, Rashford will probably play on the left in that, in that case. Um, then you have uh, Lingard if he's back. Um, well, I think Lingard is back on the right. And I would say Mata through the middle, which isn't actually that bad. And I think 
if Mata plays, Mata playing as a number 10, I've always said if, if Mata is going to play, he plays as a number 10. That's it. That's what happens. Um, the only alternative to this sort of system would be Lingard playing as number 10, um, dropping Mata and putting Daniel James on the right, um, which has happened before. Um, although I think Daniel James' natural position is on the left, but he can play on the right if needs be. Pereira is also an option with Lingard sense, but Pereira has not been having a good spell either, and I think he needs to. I think he needs. Um, I think he needs some time out of the squad. Um, but that's what I suspect will be the the, um, the the starting lineup, plus or minus the individuals. But the main thing with this thing is that Martial and Shaw and wan are back in, but um, but the key thing is that De Gea and obviously Pogba are out, and Pogba will be a big miss, and De Gea will be a big miss against the Liverpool game. Um, let me know what you think, guys. Do you think that Manchester United have a chance of beating Liverpool? I think my score prediction right now is a draw, 1-1. Um, I can't remember the last time Liverpool actually came to Old Trafford and won, so there probably is a psychology element there. I think that if Liverpool were to beat us at Old Trafford, I think there'd be a massive psychological boost for Liverpool in terms of them winning the league. Um, because winning at Old Trafford is a statement for them and carries momentum. Winning at City, not so much. They've done it multiple times before. Um, so, yeah, I think that, I think, you know, this is a big game. And I think if Manchester United can somehow win this game, and I think with Martial back, I think that's key. I think I actually think that Martial is probably a bit more important than Pogba in the sense that well Pogba can create the the issue with Manchester United has been a lack of finishers. We have not been able to have the you know, finishers, and I'm hoping that Martial being back will, will, will really be able to help with that finishing that fin finishing process, um, especially if Mata plays in a number ten position, um, and hopefully McTominay can be a bit creative. The weakness, I think, is obvious in that, in that I presume Matic will come in and, you know, Jesse Lingard has a lot to prove. As does Marcus Rashford, to be honest. And if I'm honest, if I'm honest, I'd probably, I would rather Daniel James start and Rashford drop to the bench than Marcus Rashford start on the left. I'd rather Daniel James start on the left and Marcus Rashford then come on. Because Marcus Rashford has had no rest at all. And I think that this would actually benefit him. But knowing Oli... And this is why I think he will start, not why I, what I want to start. Knowing Oli, Marcus Rashford will unfortunately be starting this game, even though I think he won't have a good game because he's exhausted. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this formation. Do you think we have a chance um, or is this the end for Oli? Um, please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, ReunitedX. Have a nice evening, guys, and cheers.